Today I'm showing you my recent contraption that can calculate RLS number. This contraption is using threaded to bit floating point and calculates it with an accuracy of 7 digits. Sadly, because of an underflow error, the 8th digit is off by 1. It also features a 7 segment display, which uses a modified double double algorithm I created myself to be able to display fractures. To calculate RLS number, it can take anywhere from 9 to 20 minutes, depending what version of Minecraft you are using and how well your PC is able to handle the load. I recommend 1.7. Now to how the algorithm works. So here is the whole algorithm to calculate RLS number. It all starts with 1 plus 1. Then it adds 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 3, 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4. I think, and I think you can see where this is going. So basically, it's an infinite addition um, of all the natural numbers um, divided by each other, so each fraction. That is also why it's an irrational number and cannot be displayed as a fraction. So what basically the machine is doing, at the be first beginning, at the first tick, it's adding the 1 plus 1. While it's adding the 1 plus 1, it's dividing 1 by 2. Then in the next tick, it takes the result from 1 uh, divided by 2, adds it with, the, uh, with 1 plus 1, so that would be 2.5. And while it's adding it, it's dividing that through 3. Then it's adding this result again to the um, previous numbers and it's dividing it by 4 and then adding that, dividing it by 5 and so on. To have the right accuracy to use it in 32-bit floating point I figured out that the right uh, that we have to do that till 11. So till the fraction we're adding is 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 4 divided by 5 divided by 6 divided by 7 divided by 8 divided by 9 divided by 10 and divided by 11 <laughs> and that is basically how to calculate Euler's number let's look at the contraption itself so here are the two buttons this is for reset and this is to start the machine to the components for the whole thing is under here. This long thing is the divider. It's a 24-bit divider. As you can see, it's a um, different design than the one in the FPU. It's a faster, more compact one, as you can see. And here, underneath here, this is the adder. This is my usual design. So when I press the start button, the following happens. Here we have a RS null latch. It switched the Q inputs and this comparator clock t turns on. This is the whole clock of the whole machine. It takes about um, 54 5 seconds or something to for a pulse. Then here we have two monostable sockets. This monostable socket is going into this binary counter. This binary counter is here to is um, always the number that we're dividing through. So at the beginning, when I press the button, it sets the number to two. Then in the next tick, it it is dividing by three. Next tick, dividing by four, and it does that till it's at twelve, because we need that last tick to trigger the display. Then here we have the mode seven for the registers. So we have two registers in this machine. This one to have the um, to have the result of the division. And over here, this one to have the result of the addition. So the sum. So in the first tick, here it is adding one plus one. Here it is dividing one divided by two. The result is coming up over here. Then it's getting saved over here. Here is the exponent, like where it um, is calculating with the exponents. And here is the barrel shifter. 
to shift the number to a line for addition. Um, here in this case the exponent um, is always norm um, no unnormalized because we don't need to differentiate between positive and negative exponents because the number we are adding is always a, neg a negative exponent and uh, uh, the other number is always a positive exponent. So we've got only one case and don't need to do any special cases like in an FBU. And here is where the exponent is saved for Euler's number. Here is a little carry thing thingy for the beginning. Then th this is a little um, a little knowledge to read and write. So if it, if the twelve tick comes in and it finished calculating, then here's the signal. It opens up these null edges. The signals come through for about three ticks. Then they get saved in this shift register. After the shift register, this um, RS null edge timer starts, which is um, unlocking this clock. The clock clock is a um, eight tick clock. And then it goes through this thingy, which is basically shifting it one to the right. And if it's eight or bigger, the number, then it's subtracting by three. That is kind of like not the normal double devil works, just it's shifting in the other direction. And another special thing is that you don't start with the least, sig uh, that you don't start with the most significant bit to shift in, but with the least significant instead. So then here we have our outputs. These go into the seven segment displays. The seven segment displays are not my design, they are designed by Nevo Master. And here we have the two that is just basically took the signal from the exponent. If I wanna do if I would want to do it completely correct, I could also just shift um, make a shifter here and shift the leading bit over here one to the left but that is kind of unneeded and unnecessary so I just did it like that and yeah and it goes into this segment display and it displays the number here we have the correct result of 2.718281 and then here normally we would have an 8 but sadly because of an underflow error in 32-bit floating point um, we c it can't calculate that last bit because it's out of the range of the mantissa. Another funny and special thing is um, that over here I I actually already corrected another underflow error because the seventh digit, so this one, was really off instead of 1.7 it said 2.0 and that was too much of an error for me. So I added um, in the barrel shifter these extra multiplexes so it um, it only adds the necessary bits to correct that underflow error but I didn't want to go through all that um, through the process of also correct also uh, modifying the display just so I can so the la very last number is an 8 instead of a 7 it just wasn't worth it in my opinion and it's also only off by like, by one, so yeah. I think it's still in credit even even if it's not one hundred percent correct, or you can't actually get it one hundred percent correct. So yeah, that's basically the whole machine. Well done. This in the description for those who want to take a closer look at it or try it yourself. Just be aware that your PC is probably not going to like it. But it's it's not as bad as the FP, so it should be fine.